I'm using um this back scratcher and I'm scratching my dog's back. Is that a myth? That's a myth. And she's happy. What, what's a myth? Happy, she's a happy pupper. Hey. I'm trying to do my it? Twitter profile. I'm just gonna wait until everybody else knows. What? Hi, myth. Yeah. Hey, myth. There we go. We have a myth. Howdy. We have many things. I was. I was you sorry. You don't I was have a myth. You can't I own me. I never said I owned you. I said we have a myth. I know. We have a myth present in the chat. <laughs> Present and accounted for. Apparently. I swear, I can say six words make you all clench your asses. Okay. <laughs> Poor Olive. Anyway. I'm ready. <laughs> no, I wasn't oh, announcing that I was going to. Okay. I just mean, you know, you ever make a joke and then everyone, like, thinks it's serious? <sighs> all the time. Um, um all the time. Luigi, don't touch my face. Yeah, no. Bad implications there, buddy. Yeah, Solar will kill you. No, no, Solar won't kill you. You'll just, you know, have misfortunes. That, yeah, or you myth, just won't matter. Yeah. Myth doesn't like boots, also, it's a curse, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, if, if I were to see Solar tear somebody a new one, uh, we would get some snacks and watch it happen. <laughs> nice. Oh, would he stream it? Would he get his phone out and stream it? That'd be amazing. FBI open up. Mm, FBI, FBI open up. <laughs> I don't have a window to smash. Or a door to kick in. Or, or a gun to shoot. You don't have windows or doors? How the hell do you get out of your room? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't want to... No, How do you I mean, even I don't wanna... see it with no light coming in? Are no, you a I prisoner? Mean... Do, we, do we need to help no. you? No, I mean, I don't want to break my window or my door, so I don't, you know, as in, I don't have a window or door available to me to break. Because I need them <laughs> to be unbroken. You're welcome, puppy. The only thing in that list I don't actually have is a gun. Do you still have that can? Just checking you all. Of, just checking your back. Holy shit, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you just remembered. <laughs> I'm guessing he was Olive. looking for it. How old is this joke? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's something I haven't heard in a while. Video killed the radio star. That is how old that joke is. Pleasure to be And what can you do? Yeah. Yes, go on the picture show. Oh, no, wait, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I was thinking of that! Star. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! No! You're lost. You're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love that moment. You think I'm some kind of clown? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I just love the way he says it. He's like, maybe. Maybe. It's the way I I'd know, say, I love it's it. the way I'd say maybe. <laughs> See, two ways on that. Like, I like maybe. I like it. I just love how it turned out. That one was so flippant hilarious. Like, I love that during a... the bat. I loved it during the battle. Uh, Angel Dust gets whipped and then like knocked to the other end. He's like, oh, harder, daddy. Son? Son? <laughs> <laughs> the look. The oh look. I so do I know you? Do I know oh, you? yes, you do. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm so looking forward to talking about this when I start the podcast uh, next uh, Saturday. Can I? I really want to. <laughs> Me too. Like, really everyone wants to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, at, at this well. point, a lot of people want to participate. Um, I just got to... Uh, you know, make the time and make sure that it's yeah, yeah. Because one of the things that's challenging whenever it comes to setting up a um, you don't want it to get too overwhelming. You have to know who's going to be online or who's got the yeah, time. You got to know what everybody's schedule is. You got to know if somebody else is streaming at the time. It's complicated, frustrating. I know. I never streamed, but I understand because I surround myself with people just like you who also deal with these situations. So I'm fully aware of the things you go through, and you know, I'm here to <laughs> empathize on an emotional level. I got you, man. I'm just noticing something in the chat that um, it looks out of context if you couldn't hear us. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I'm respecting your privacy by knocking, but asserting myself as your business partner by coming in anyway. <laughs> I know he feels like I am not that often for any which way you want, and I'm not apologizing. Aha, so many orphans. 
Okay, I know that scene that Equestria Guy is talking about because this was during one of the streams that um, this one um, artist that works with a, a Vizzy, she uh, she was doing a stream with the voice actors as well, and they had that, somebody did that line, the guy who voices Alistair do that and somebody decided to animate it edward like, bosco oh my god this is funny <laughs> also i do <laughs> like is like i do like how like you know during the development they were talking about stuff like how Al like alistair really hates angel dust really huh yeah hmm. apparently alistair really hates angel dust and i think we see the beginning of that in the i can suck your dick Ha! No! Yeah, then there's like a second of a radio screech, you know, where you see that crazy face? Yeah, I love that. Where he says, yeah, no. I think like, that it's... It just appears in like a split second. I love like... that. And then it's it, gone. Yeah. <laughs> like, we yeah, maybe save need... this for the podcast, though. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah, talk about something that. else. <laughs> Let's talk about ballpoint pens. Anybody got opinions on ballpoint pens? I like what? to pick them. <laughs> Jesse, I think it was a pretty clear question. I mean, they go well with parchment. They do? Well, you know, you write on the parchment. Parchment's just paper. You write on it with, with like, a ballpoint. Yeah. Par parchment <laughs> isn't paper, though. Parchment is tanned animal hide. Made for you writing on it. You can still write on it. Yeah, you can write on it, but I don't think I've ever heard of someone actually just, just writing on actual parchment with a ballpoint pen. That's, like, for okay. fancy stuff. Okay, next topic. Phoenix, what is the next game? I'm doing this for the rest of the stream now. Just letting you guys know. We're on post show. <laughs> ah, the post show. Yes. Pick that guy from Legend of Korra. <laughs> I saw your thing on the picture show. I love that he... Okay, enough's enough. I... Okay. Let's, yeah, um, stop. let's do something else. <laughs> let's see. Thing memes... Uh, apparently, Balls with no was class. okay today. Yeah, it's because yeah. Luigi Man quoted that one scene that Sir Pentia says. Horse <laughs> have no class. I, I, Magical Star Flash with the pens make a fun clicky sound. <laughs> <laughs> you know, motherfucker, two can play that game. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh, wait, wait. Do I have a... oh wait, my god. Really? Wait, hold on. Are you guys really clicking your pens? Yes. On No Nut November. Can somebody draw the comic of this, please? Hey, we gotta take it out somehow. I mean, you guys can't even hear mine. <laughs> Faith Stargate, you Welcome please to the talking. annual pen clicking competition. <laughs> I got some double pens, motherfucker. <laughs> What's the wonder of your source of entertainment? <laughs> Also, is, also is, is this shit? Also, is this thing with is this thing with the can coming in like I think it is? Like, yes, is it, does I it sound so. like I think it does? Yes. Well, like well, it I'll has the radio vibe to it. You'll hear it a little bit, yeah. Okay, hold on. Um, uh... <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, and logic is muted and deaf. He's oh, no. to the, the okay, yes, it is having the desired effect. Yay. Yay. And demonetize. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the no nut in November. <laughs> also, I have to question Luigi Man right here because he says the pen sound sounds like F asterisk ping, which means you said fupping. Haha. -ha. What's if that's fucking? what it sounds like, you need to see a doctor. The <laughs> question guy, uh, guy says, at logic, can you use it? No! No, just no. I can't. I, I can't. I, no. <laughs> Thank you, I love that gym. Thanks for distracting me for my... Di Thank you for... Okay. Fuck, fuck the can for a moment. Distracting Thanks from the distract... Like, Thanks for distracting me for my distractions from adult life. Also, it's hard to stay off Derby Burr. I mean, Even yes, but actually, no. <laughs> can you use the Maybe. can to make a motorbike sound? What? No, no, I can't. I, I can't make a motorbike sound with this thing. I can't make a motorbike sound, period. <laughs> 
I bet if you looked it up on YouTube, you could find a tutorial how to make a motorbike sound with a can. Isn't that how they made a lot of cartoon sounds? They would use like ordinary objects. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. I give up. Oh my god. Cello people. Ooh, I have been mentioned. What's the matter here now? I see it's on me too, apparently. Equestria guy, why did you actually send it to me? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no, it's like me saying I can't do it is shorthand for no. Oh, it's not that you can't do it, it's that you won't do it, you killjoy. It's a bit of both. Besides, I'm having oh. too much fun. Oh, this is the fun. Sometimes. <laughs> the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. You know, that's a pretty <laughs> sadistic way of viewing life itself. That life itself is a stage. Uh -huh. well, I mean... Doesn't all... Rarity have a song, Life is a Runway? How is that any different? Wait, well, I mean, what? Or I mean, you're not wrong! If yeah. life is a stage, then I'm Romeo and Juliet. Life is a stage, <laughs> no, then... Not. More importantly, the ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, God, I mean, you're not wrong. Everybody if dies life... in the end. If life is the stage, I'm that character who's supposed to die at the beginning, but somehow doesn't, and then they decide to keep him on specifically because sometimes he does something a little bit funny. Ouch. Aww. Pumpernickel. <laughs> Corn Crunch. Corn <laughs> Okay. Pop -tarts. Turbo boner. <laughs> <laughs> Pop-Tarts. Their chance was life, and the punishment is this! What's so hot, it's cool, and so cool, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, hot, yeah, hot. Uh, what is so yeah, hot, it's... Know. Jesse. What is <laughs> so hot, it's so cool, but it's so cool, it's hot. Pop-Tarts? It's not Pop-Tarts! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Pop-Tart Bites. I remember when the nostalgia critic wasn't a douchebag. Yeah, no, I will say this. As much of a screw-up Doug Walker's become, at least I can still be entertained by some of his older work, especially, like, back in the late 2000s when he reviewed Howard the Duck. Yeah, it's just hard to watch that stuff nowadays. Howard the fucking duck! Yeah, like, okay, <laughs> I can understand why it's difficult, but... Ugh, the... Frickin' wall, man. Mm. Oh god, that. In review. that whole regard, okay, I have I have to feel absolutely sorry for two people: Corey Taylor and Rob Scallon. Rob mm -hmm. Scallon was the guy who provided the rock, uh, the backing track, and Rob, uh, the guitar work. Whereas Corey Taylor was just cameo who didn't even get a line. Like I think what? Corey Taylor's son was also part of it too. Yeah, him and his son. It's like. What was Doug thinking just to have those two and then have them just sit around and imitate the movie? They're musicians, not actors. Mm. Well, I mean, technically it's free money, unless there was something else about that. Uh, Wait, were they being paid to just do nothing? I don't know. I'm going to hope they were paid because that's how a job worked. But Maybe they were yeah. paid in exposure. Fuck off. Yeah, no, I'm sure Corey Taylor would do better than that. He's the fucking frontman of Slipknot and Stone Sour. I know. I'm just being a dick. But you're getting paid in exposure. Ah, I see. Um, right. Yeah, you too. Uh, but, but I, I want know. to eat. But how many of you know who Rob Scallon is? He's the guy who did no. a lot of songs for Nostalgic Critic, right? Yeah, but have you actually seen his own channel? He has his channel? Yeah, Rob Scallon has his own channel. I actually found oh. out about that first before I found out about the wall. And there are some videos that are pretty freaking funny. Like, if you're someone like me who plays guitar and knows a lot about music, you would get the jokes more. But at the very least, I could show you one video that I uh, discovered from him. He opened up a guitar. It's a nice-looking guitar. It's a Schecter. It's like black cherry. It's got a nice marble effect. He takes one of the clippers, and he clips off all of the strings with the exception of one. And what does he do? He just does it to just do a stereotype of metalcore. It's just a series <laughs> of open notes. And it's just Ooh. hilarious because, like, when you think about 
a majority of metal music, they use a lot of empty notes for mostly what synchronizes the drum beat, which it's awesome to listen to and it's satisfying to hear. But you got to admit, it's just a series of notes. That's 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 really all. It's not like the Doom theme. Well, a lot of metal music these days are influenced from stuff like that. They've put in a lot of variation within the beats. I see. It's not a bad thing. It's just it's just hilarious uh, that somebody would just make a joke about it. Speaking of um, music, that kind of reminds me. Of okay, you know Musics? how people like to base um, actual songs from for characters that have no actual like lyrical songs. You know what I mean? I think so. Uh, not even slightly. Songs that don't have okay. lyrics, but I'll have them anyway. Ha! Okay, like, okay, um, like, a way I would picture this, like, if Alistair had a theme song, it would be When You're Evil. Oh, Voltaire. Oh, a song that fits, so you're talking about songs that fit with characters, but aren't necessarily made for those characters. Yeah, fit for them, like, it fits them. To be fair, the woman, the girl who did, like, those music videos for Voltaire songs does animation on Has Been Hotel. True. Daria Cohen. How do we keep getting pulled back into the? Do I need to? Put yeah, we should we really. We should really. Because yeah, it's so. that good, bro. Is that good? I. It's very <laughs> tempting. That's all I could yeah. say. Yeah. Like, should we just do? Should oh, we do, just do the podcast now? No. That's a joke, obviously, because you have a schedule. <laughs> I should really. Do but it then it got me to think, like, okay, if when you're evil would be Alistair's thing. Would Bad Romance be Angel Does His Theme? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> no. Here's the thing. Kidding. Here's the thing. You'd have to have romance uh, to have a bad romance, and he's just a porn star. I was kidding. <laughs> I was making a touch Actually, now you've sent me down this <laughs> rabbit hole, what would Angel Does His Theme song be? Like not talking about uh, the down show this itself. rabbit hole. <laughs> that would be his theme song. Okay, okay, you know that that's that's fine. <laughs> Our survey says ding. <laughs> Wait, no. Our survey <laughs> says ding, I'm using that ding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just come on, boys. Let's show sure what she's won. I I I don't act, I don't actually have anything. Shit. Um, Jack squad. <laughs> Hmm. What would be Charlie's? Oh. He was entertaining. That's what she won. No, no, wait, wait. She <laughs> won exposure. Uh, uh, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to canonize this. I refuse to legitimize this. As you should. <laughs> keep that. Keep that exposure away from me. Do, please well, do, do not expose yourself oh. to him, please. Logic, I got you a. <laughs> A birthday gift. It's some nice exposure. I mean, I know you were wanting some, right? I can't I mean, buy. You can use it in like, every situation. It's so handy. It's, it's like I can't buy silver on Destiny or V Bucks on Fortnite with fucking exposure. Oh, <laughs> you totally can. Here, have some exposure. <laughs> you really need to expose yourself. I think she's just messing. I, I, I know she's messing with you now, Logic. Just. I'm also just, eating just candy. Ignore. Jesse, I, I, Cron. I know. That's how the dynamic works. <coughs> I'm fully aware of the event. The event. I'm sitting here, and it's happening in front of me. It's <laughs> happening across an ocean from you. I mean, it's basically happening yep. in front of me. I can see the chat, and I can see you guys. Like, I know who's talking, so it's basically happening in front of my eyes through the monitor. It's happening you on either side of your balls? ears. <laughs> Wait, what was that last bit? Because he said balls. I said looking balls. <laughs> yeah, that ends with balls. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Clearly too tired. We need, we need fucking... We need to get the voice actor for Alistair to do some of these stupid Edward jokes Bosco. we've made. No, you know what? Actually, okay... If we're going to talk about getting actors to say certain things, I maybe it was done before, maybe it wasn't. 
If you guys remember Dick Kickham, I would love to hear the voice <laughs> actor who did uh, Duke Nukem to say those actual lines. Oh, um, uh, it's I know time to about. chew. I've met it's him. Like, it's time, time to, to kick gum. gum and chew ass. <laughs> and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> and I'm all out of ass. Kick gum. The you thing know, I love okay. about that video is just when the guy's trying to read it and imitate Duke Nukem, he just cracks up like he tries to hold it, but his laugh is so contagious. It's time. And she kicked I, him. I love that he doesn't stop with the laugh. He keeps trying to read it. <laughs> like you hear it, he's like, Oh my. <laughs> It's kind of hard for him to say it without keeping a straight face. He breaks out a character so easily. It's just it. like... <laughs> what? It's like the facade... It's like the facade broke like a dam made of tissue paper. True. <laughs> and what were you laughing about, Golden? No, just, it's just the fucking laugh. <laughs> and I'm all out of mouse. I, I remember it almost off my heart. <laughs> oh, did you see the recent? Um, I'm not sure how recent. One of the recent Markiplier try not to laughs, where there were those two birds I fighting. I did. Those two water birds. They, yeah, candy in my mouth. They hit their chest together and then they bounce their heads up and down. And when I was watching it, I was absolutely dying. I couldn't breathe like the first time. And it's ridiculous because I've seen it before. I don't know why it was killing me when Mark was watching it. Then the second time, it's like this suddenly isn't funny anymore. Why well, was I absolutely dying last time? Again, I think I know the one you mean. I think that's the same one that, my, that Snick and Wolfhead told me to watch. And mm -hmm. the reason they told me to watch it is because there's this anime clip. Hmm? And the oh, an yeah, the spanking thing. It, that one yeah, it, is like, it didn't have what I assume is what they thought would be the desired effect. It's it took like, it like an entire minute, and the punchline was, oh, they put in a machine gun sound. <laughs> for two seconds. It's just like, it doesn't do anything for me, because John it's so Saint stupid. John? Yeah, that's the name of the voice actor hmm. who plays Duke Nukem. Oh, okay, cool. You know, hey, John, St. John, you want to... Maybe, okay, I'm just going to say this right now. There are times when I can kind of, you know, what is the term called? Dream too big. Imagine yes. if at some point, like, I could get some people to interview for a podcast. I mean, I don't blame you there. That'd be pretty neat. I mean, it'd be nice to, you know, have John St. John in there if it's doable. It's like, just get, it's like, just get Keanu Reeves and the first thing we all ask him is how have, is like, how are you the same as you were 20 years ago? He's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, um, Golden and everyone else in the chat, have you guys heard the theory that me and Eliora made? Oh my god, oh what? God. It, it nope. is the Keanu Reeves Gemini Man theory. Oh no. Now, you guys oh. you, now, you guys are aware of the Gemini Man movie involving Will Smith and Will Smith, right? Yes. Yeah. I thought that so was him and his son. So the so Dude, does, well, he, no. does this a younger self look like Jaden Smith? No, not by a long shot. But yeah, no, um, so... they recorded they recorded both just both of them are played by Will Smith. They just put things on his face to change his appearance for the other character. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Just to make him look and... younger. Yeah, so, um... Still him. The idea is the same, but the difference here is he's not going out and killing people. The idea for the Keanu Reeves Gemini Man is that there is current Keanu Reeves, there is an older Keanu Reeves, and there is a fresher Keanu Reeves who's going to take over for the current Keanu Reeves later down the line. Oh and my god. the meme is like the theory evolved into a meme that's literally just them getting up to a bunch of ridiculous, funny, slice-of-life bullshit. Oh, probably oh, illustrated yeah. through webcomics. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Gemini Man 2 is the Keanu edition. And, it, it, like, the, the older Keanu is the current one. Then the younger one is Neo from The Matrix. Like, The Matrix is real in the future. They cloned him to do it. Whoa. No. No. Yeah, that's what I was just woeing about. Wow. No, no, yeah, no, so no, that's... No. In fact, I think that was on one of the first 
of the Eliora streams for the Only You campaign. Also, thanks for that, Golden. The video. <laughs> oh, the dab. Yes, yes, you um, I will... you look. Go you ahead. looked like you were dead inside, and I loved every second of it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add on to that. It was hard as fuck trying to have the deadpan expression given the dab. Because multiple times, you I'm trying to not to laugh. <laughs> it's like, it's like you had to try your best to get to freaking Kratos levels of, I'm going to cut off your head. Golden, Golden, I know a way for you to go through it. Just think of Barbie Girl. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Really you know, no. like, okay, you know what? This actually does bring up something. Uh, how many of you know um, a, uh, a brand called Blender Magazine? Sounds familiar. No. Okay. The only Blender I'm yeah. aware of is the 3D sculpting thing. Well, okay, to answer your question, Blender Magazine made a list of like the 50 worst songs ever made. And on that list is Barbie Girl. That's probably like <laughs> the only song I can agree on that list. <laughs> have, like, the, like the entire list itself is utter shit. Like, do you have a Beatles song on there? You have a Doors song on there? Like, really? You think those songs are bad? Wait, which Beatles song? Obla di obla da's on there. Obla di obla da's pretty what? good. I like it. Yeah. There's one thing I like about Barbie Girl, and that is one lyric straight up says, "I'm a blonde bimbo girl in a fantasy world." <laughs> <laughs> okay, good for you. <laughs> Also, also, this is this is what especially pisses me off. So, two names that actually irritate me that it's listed on there. One of which, Europe's Final Countdown was on there. The final what? countdown. Yeah, that song is fucking epic. It's pure oh. fucking cheese hair metal in its glory. And the number yeah, one. Yeah, I don't get why that song gets so much hate. Honestly. Okay. Uh, I I didn't even know it had hate in the first place. But there is one song that Apparently did get a lot of hate. Some... And it was listed as the worst song ever. And literally, it, it was brought up because earlier today, Ninja Sex Party covered it. Starships, we built this city. We built this city. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. They called that it the worst fun. song ever Ooh. because it... The wor no, no. The worst song ever is Whip Your Hair. Yeah, that's the worst song. Or that, that stupid <laughs> hoe song. You're a stupid hoe. You're a stupid, stupid hoe. Like, that's just or irritating. Like... All that fucking bees in a trap thing by Nicki Minaj. I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. Does Does anyone remember that that was a song? It sounds familiar. No, I I don't remember, but I believe you. I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. Rolling around in my mom's ride. Oh yeah, wasn't that like um what are they called? That was like like around 2010 or before. Yeah, it was like around the 2010s. Um, wasn't there like it was some Asian band, right? Named yeah, after some kind of the swagger of a cripple and some other things. I can't remember most of it. Yeah, didn't like um, what's his name, Rucka Rucka Ali, like cover that as a parody? I don't know. You guys remember Rucka Rucka Ali? Yes, <laughs> I do. The only Rucka Rucka thing I know that I've seen is um, the Shape of You cover. <laughs> Uh, Golden, I apologize if something unfortunate befalls you because of what I'm about to do. Oh my god, what the fuck oh, did you do? No. Hold on. <clears throat> and oh. he had a little bit of an earthquake! What? <laughs> that's, the first rock -rock, that's the first Rocka Rocka Ali song I ever heard. It was the Haiti Earthquake song. <laughs> okay, I can't remember what the first wow. song I listened to was. <laughs> the lyrics literally, Haiti had a little bit of an earthquake. And so then it goes on to talk about a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, it's like hey. Raka Raka Ali status quo. Just talking about there offensive was things. The, there was this one song. I don't even want to consider it a song because there was barely any lyrics in it. It was that one. Um, Let me take a selfie. Let oh. me take a selfie from the Chainsmokers. Yes. The music Something... was cool. I like the. I like that. Like a. Uh, DJ kind of music, but what they put in that for lyrics was the laziest thing I it was have literally, ever heard. It was literally just every Becky in the world. First, let me take a selfie. Right? I was like, uh, Personally, I prefer that closer. That is the laziest thing I've ever heard. It's like, holy shit, something that makes me look at what does the fox say with, you know, 
yearning. It's just like, why couldn't it have been you instead of this? Heck, it, that was more annoying than that one. Turn down for what? <laughs> that one had some better <laughs> you know? I'd rather listen to Tennessee Bird Walk than it. Uh, I don't even know. That. <laughs> no, no, dude, like. Okay, I, I, I would probably get carried away if I, like. If there were certain songs mentioned that I can't stand. Uh huh. You know, like, okay, some of the songs that were mentioned, like. Uh, like, Barbie Girl has been mentioned too much, but there's, like, other songs that are just, like, utterly repetitive and just annoying to Wait, hear. hold on, hold on. Was Justin Bieber's baby on there? No, unfortunately. How? How? Simple, it is the most no. Dis- okay, to it answer your question. Most- okay, right, lo- well. okay, to answer your question. The article of the 50 worst songs was written back in 2008. It was, like, two years before that song was a thing. Oh, wow. Uh, that and Friday by Rebecca Black. Oh, God. That actually does make sense. It's like, until you said that, my brain was like, it's the second most disliked video on YouTube. Wait, what was the I song? I like Last Friday Night. No, not Last Friday Night. No, not just... Friday, but I do like Last Friday Night. Last Friday Night, <laughs> I can kind of get the context behind that, but the song Friday is just, there's no creativity. Friday, Friday. Riley, <laughs> I will fucking kick you out of the call. No, that was Is all I could do, honestly. Friday, I hate, Friday. I understand the hatred. Oh my god, one. stop! Yeah, no, I'd well, rather, I mean, no, I'd like... rather listen to Nickelback than listen to Friday. Well, you like Nickelback. Oh, you Nickelback. would, you like Nickelback. Uh, selectively, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, since you were mentioning Barbie Girl, I know that you don't like that song, but from that girl's, mu- the one, two music from her that I do like, one of them is Halloween, and the other is Cartoon Heroes. At least those were more fitting and more easier to listen to. Wait, what were what? Halloween and Cartoon Heroes? Okay, um, um, Aqua? from the same, the same band, the same I mean, like band I said, I'm, uncultu- I'm uncultured, so I won't know these. Okay, the same band who played... Oh, here's the first Barbie song Girl. I listened to from Rucka Rucka Ali. Yeah. They also did two other songs. One that was literally based off of the old Halloween movies, called literally called Halloween. And then there was another one that was like a little fun little montage of classic animations and such that kids grew up with watching. It was called Cartoon Heroes. Oh. Huh. Those two, I would tolerate those more comparison to Barbie Girl. I mean, I think a lot of people share that sentiment because, you know, it's Barbie Girl. Yeah. Also, but, um, was that song meant to be as weird as it turned out? Yep. Yes. Hmm. So they intended for it to sound just that very, bad. It, they made it sound very into window, and at the same time, it looked like it was very into window in their music video, too. It's like, like um, if, what am like, I if, watching? You know what I find funny about Golden disliking Barbie Girl? What? 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 There's one lyric that says, Dress me up, make it tight, I'm your dolly. Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay, if you if any of you want to know why I can't stand that song, it's simply because of the voice. It just sounds like whoever was singing sucked up so much helium. It's just unnaturally (laughs) high-pitched. Dress me up, make it tight, I'm your dolly. Me, me, no, 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 no. No, no, no. no just and that. Also, I wash my hands another, of that. I'm fucking done. Another, another <laughs> thing that was, another thing that was fucking messed up the first time I heard it was the fucking, the Ken voice. Oh god. Oh, that dude. Yeah. Nope. Okay. No. You know what? I, I think it's time I end the. It's like it. No, nope. it was just like it sounded like it's someone. It <laughs> watch it. Lord. Like, no, no, no. Just, just one more, just one more. I have to get this joke in. It sounds like if they gave Jabba the Hutt an English voice. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, no. All right, well, now I'm done. No, I, yep, I'm we're done. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm any post show. Thank you for everybody Barbie else who came. I, I hope you guys don't have nightmares tonight. I mean, Halloween happened the other night at the time Thank of the Thank you stream. for stopping by, folks.